break your legs. Don't break your legs. Break your legs. Break your legs. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a video about my first deployment experience. Um, as you guys know, if you've been keeping up with me on social media or on YouTube, I have been deployed for nine months and I've been to various countries. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a video. Like, let's get into it. This intro doesn't need to be long because I have a lot of details to share. So I put everything in like this little book. Okay. First question, how long were you deployed? Um, I was deployed for nine months starting in September 2015 all the way to May 2015, 2016. <laughs> um, the countries I visited, that's the second question. I visited, um, I have visit, I have been to Kuwait, Afghanistan, and Qatar. Um, that's where I've been deployed to and I visited on the way there I've been to Ireland and um, on the way back I've been to Greece, Ireland, Canada, New Hampshire and I feel like I'm missing another place like I don't know if I'm missing another place but yeah those are the countries I've been to on um, like traveling wise. Um, next was how was Kuwait? Kuwait is hot y'all like I was only there for about two weeks my whole deployment two weeks like um I was at I forgot what the camp was called Camp Veering for oh, a week and a half my last week of deployment that's where we had all meet up together and um when we first got there that's where first we went to was camp aj and that's when we split off because i was going to afghanistan with a team so after that um i went to afghanistan like two days later and afghanistan is cool i was stationed in um bagram um it's a well-known military base um yeah it's beautiful there like i love ballroom like the scenery is surrounded by mountains and it's just gorgeous especially in the winter it does get cold there it's hot it's hot when we first got there and then it got really cold there and it snowed and whatnot but it's so beautiful you guys like i love ballroom and you do get hazardous pay if you go to like ballroom or iraq i didn't go to iraq but you get extra money for being there um like I had fun, like I'll insert like clips here and there of my team and us bonding, like we legit had fun. Like the barracks were cool, they weren't like as luxurious, Luxur uh, they weren't as fancy as the ones I'm used to in like Fort Bed or whatever. But yeah, it was cool, like my roommate was cool that's how I met Joan, she came out there, but yeah. What about, what else about Bagram? So happy I was blessed to be able to go to a hazardous area and experience life there like you meet so many different cultures and armies that come near and they're just all in the same base like I don't even remember their nationalities like they were legit cool and whatever um we did in Bagram get blown up a couple of times you will you know it's a hazardous area it's you're in war so IED attacks, you will hear the sirens go off, so you just make sure you're in a hard area, like a hard building, and you wait, you have to wait till the sirens going off saying it's all clear. But it's 
you have to be on your P's and Q's there. Like you have to be in the right place at the right time. Sometimes you have to wear gear. Like I've been to the gym and I had to have my full battle rattle on, which is my ACH and um, my IOTB on to just to go across the street to the gym like because you have to wear stuff like that um you have to carry a weapon a loaded weapon 24 7 except at the gym you have to bring it to work you have to bring it to the defect like that is your baby like i had it slinged i kind of miss it but i don't miss it because it's pretty heavy carrying it with a load with loaded rounds like that's major key don't ever lose your weapon because you will get in serious trouble uh what else about bob Brown? That's just like a little short. I don't want to get deeply into it. Like I'll go into comments and answer more questions if you have questions about these countries. Um, I later went to Qatar, um, starting New Year's off in Qatar. Um, Qatar is beautiful, y'all. Like it's it's in the desert. It's like close by Kuwait. They're like they're similar thing places, and um, their living was so much better than Bagram. More bathrooms and. It's a really tiny little place, and it's a tight knit community, really. And um, it was pretty cool there. We got to go off base and go like to the malls and laser tag, at, like outside of work, and um, just experience the place there. Like it's beautiful. Like if you've ever looked at my Instagram, you will see all those beautiful beach pictures. And I'll insert more clips here. We went to this important person beach house we were invited like the whole base and um air force base i think were invited to this i forgot what he was like his, i'll find it and um he had a beach house and yeah there were jet skis there were deep sea fishing there were camel riding like i rode a camel and i ate a camel later on that day it's not good <laughs> and um yeah like it was fun out there like to be able to experience the actual country and the people like next question did you miss your family uh i'm not crying right now but yes of course family is key you guys your family is what supports you your whole deployment honestly like family is major key. were you able to go to college yes i finally started college um this year in qatar because the wi-fi was way better um, um is the money good somebody had to ask me that is the money good yes the money good y'all y'all don't get tax y'all get tax free paychecks y'all that makes a difference and then depends on what location you got like i got hazardous pay because i was in bagram and that's like an extra 250 and then um imminent danger pay is like 50 dollars so Deployment is the opportunity to make money and save money and raise your credit score like I did. Like, any regrets? I don't regret anything. Like, I just had to soak in the experience of be able to travel. Like, it's a blessing to be able to experience people and different cultures. Like, I love meeting people or just being around different cultures because that's just, I like to just look at people. I like to just observe people. I'm observant. I'm very, I like just being around different cultures and just seeing how other people live on the other side of the world. So yes, I think it was an amazing experience and I would do it again like I'm ready to go on another one. Um, biggest challenge. Why do y'all ask this question? My biggest challenge was, what was my biggest challenge? college to make sure i'm up to date but i had a self-paced class so it was pretty cool them tests were hard though um raising my gt score i did take a fast class while i was in school so at night i would at during the day i would do my homework and then at night um i would go to a class specifically to raise my gt score so two three weeks i was stuck in class um until like two o'clock at night doing uh, raising my GT score and I did raise my GT score you guys because it's needed I'm about to switch MOS's but um that was a challenge um uh, employment is not a bad thing I need people to realize that it really isn't like people look at the negatives of being deployed like being away from your family but you made this sacrifice it gives you a chance to see the world and like, experience other people and meet other um, armies and just, you know, you can even make con 
connections out there. Like say you want to get out the army. There's contractors over there right with you and you can just see how they live and they make way more money than us to be a contractor and do the same job as I do. But no shade. Um, <laughs> but yes, like I honestly, you have to set a goal while you're deployed on money, financials and like budgeting and just stuff like that to better yourself. Like I was taught that deployment is a time to better your life and yourself and your finances. So they told me to take that advantage. Some people didn't, some people did. Like it's it's like you have nowhere else to go. Just sit there and better yourself. Self-evaluate your life. So yeah, um, um I just had to do this video because you know I, people were gonna ask questions. People have been asking those questions and like hit me up on Instagram DMs. It goes down in the DMs, it goes down, it doesn't. But yeah, like I'm open to talking about like finance videos like how to save money in the army y'all like i love shopping so comment down below your next video request and um any questions about this deployment i didn't want to make this video so lengthy but i had to because i didn't even put as much stuff in there as i wanted to so thank you for watching and thank you for watching and sitting here i hope you made it to the end of this video because if you didn't you really suck <laughs> But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.